so today I'm going to be doing a, like, first impression, get ready with me type thing. And I'm going to be talking about just a few new products and stuff. And, like, I already, um, moisturized and cleansed my face. And the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm going to use the Master Prime Hydrate and Smooth, which I really like this primer. I just do that and then... And I have combination skin, but it's winter and my skin... Well, it's actually spring, but... And this is actually kind of a second impression on the foundation that I'm going to be talking about. Because honestly, the first time... I'm not going to lie to you guys. The first time I put this on, it was a really depressing day, so I put it on, and I literally, like, cried, and it all just, and, like, a lot of it came off, and I was crying a lot, so, like, I feel like that's not really a fair test, so, but I did like the way it looked going on, and I just wanted to show it to you guys, because Elf expanded their shade range to, I think, 40 shades, let me look that up. Yeah, it comes in 40 shades. That took me a lot longer than it should have, but yeah, it's 40 shades. And see, this this primer gives, it hydrates and smooths and gives a glow, basically, which I really like. It feels like it's been forever since I filmed a video, but it really hasn't. But here is the packaging, and I have the color... And it's also cruelty free, I forgot to mention. I have the color linen, it's a little dark for me, but honestly, I feel like it will work. And I'm just gonna see how much coverage one pump gives me. Last time I didn't really see, like, based on how many pumps and all that, so I'm gonna trying to get like a brush to use. I have used this with a sponge, and personally, I'm going to use this this crown fluffy brush I got in a BoxyCharm. Like, personally, I didn't like it. I felt like it took the coverage away. Not that this is full coverage in the first place, but I mean, it made it very sheer. And I can tell you right now, it has a strong floral scent, and I didn't notice that it broke me out, but it does have a strong scent. Yeah, and one pump covered, like, the bottom portion, kind of, of my face, but I'm going to need another pump. And I'm going to dot it on my face this time. My forehead... Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up because it's getting in my way. And this is like a very lightweight foundation, like I don't feel it on my skin at all. And I do have a cold, so my skin is quite dry right now. So I feel like this will help me see if this is good for dry skin. See, this says oil-free, which I'm not saying it doesn't have oil. It has oil in it. But this is two, this is two pumps. And that did the full face, basically. And yeah, see, I feel like it's a little glowy. Hopefully you guys can see. That could also be the primer. But I also don't feel like it looks... I also don't feel like it looks dry anywhere. I'll zoom in so you can see. It also, it has like a light to medium coverage, I'd say. More on the medium side with one coat. 
but it close I have a bump right here a scar from an acne that I had an acne that's that was a weird way to say that and I have some acne scarring over here I have a lot of scarring on my cheeks right now you can see it didn't really cover that up my forehead of course looks flawless because my forehead really there's nothing really to cover up there's some redness but which I feel like was mainly covered up but as you can see you can see it poking through a little bit my chin I don't see any redness in person on my chin on camera it's, I'm picking it up I have some acne on my neckline and yeah so far I feel like this is a solid medium coverage I'm gonna try and build this up just to see if I can because I feel like buildability is important even though this is a cheap foundation like you still want it to perform like why is I why do I still zoomed in like that the only thing I hate is with this because this foundation is so liquidy it's one of those foundations that like cake your brush and makes it go streaky I feel, I feel like it would look better if you like put a sponge took a sponge and like dabbed over but I also feel like you shouldn't have to do that in order to not receive a streaky look the color don't look too bad now that I have it like completely done and see with another coat I feel like that pretty much covered that up like it's essentially covered why does on camera I don't know why on camera versus with my eyes it looks more red but I feel like I feel like it looks pretty flawless and I was able to just dab over and get rid of those streak marks and yeah see I feel like this looks it doesn't look heavy or anything but this is full coverage I would say I would consider this to be a pretty full coverage and now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop no filter concealer in the color wait is this what I want to use no actually what I'll use is I've used that before on camera but I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect <clears throat> long wear concealer and you don't need much with this it is pretty high coverage so I would just put a little bit and just blend it out because you'll see it's pretty full coverage um, and I'm just gonna use this bare minerals foundation brush see how far this is spreading like it's spreading very far and as you can see I have like this cute board back there but I can't seem to find letters for it I have this really cute painting back there I gotta show you guys I don't want to show you guys too much because I have I'm gonna do a room tour type thing but see that's really cute it's a makeup brush I got it TJ Maxx and it just has makeup brushes on it I'm just going to take this on my lid as an eyeshadow primer. Concealer is very full coverage. In my eyes, it's very full coverage. I prefer the look of this concealer with a sponge, but I do... I don't mind the look with a brush, and I'm being too lazy right now to let a sponge, so I'm just going to use my brush. And I honestly, I don't love, I don't like a full coverage look. I'm not going to lie, I normally like a look that's less full coverage. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to do full coverage just because I feel like that.
that's what is the norm for makeup. Like, a lot of people just do full coverage right now. At least in my social media circles. So, I figure that's what people would want to see. And I would use, like, the lightest amount of powder with this. Because I feel like it's already very matte. I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, the translucent flower. And I'm going to use this Luxie brush. Okay. I'm just going to use this Kabuki brush to set the rest of my face. And I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because I love that bronzer. Oh yeah, with powder I'm going to zoom in because I want you guys to see if it looks cakey or not. Under the eyes it looks a little bit dry to be honest. But I feel like on the face it looks good. And even though this is full coverage you can still like see your skin peek through a little bit. Which I like. I don't like a cakey full coverage. I feel like this is a more manageable full coverage. It's not extreme. This is the butter bronzer. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like this bronzer might break me out. I'm not sure. Because I've noticed since I've been using it. I've been getting cheap breakouts like close to where you would put it. So I really like this bronzer. So I really hope that it's not this bronzer that's doing that. It's really dark though, and that's my fault, because I picked a shade that was dark, but as you can see, it's pretty dark, but I feel like it looks good. I feel like it's blendable, and it has like a natural finish. It has like a dewy, a radiant finish, kind of. It doesn't have like a matte finish. If you're not a fan of scents, I have sensitive skin, and I'm not sure if this breaks me out, so honestly, I can't really recommend it, not knowing if it breaks me out or not. In my boxy charm, I got this Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette in the light medium shade, and I'm going to be using that for some more of my cheek products. I'm going to contour with the contour shade in here. I don't normally bronze... I don't normally bronze and contour because I just don't because I just don't care that much but I sometimes do and I'm gonna use this highlighter shade in here I like this because the highlights aren't super chunky or anything. They're like pretty smooth and like nice looking. And I will use the blush in here though. It's not my favorite blush in the world because I like a more radiant blush. But here's the blush in here. I didn't like the one in the dark one that much either. And I'm using this brush which might be a mistake because this is pretty pigmented. I've been really liking blush recently. I've been putting a lot of blush. See, and that's what that face palette. I'm going to put a little bit of the, it says, finishing powder. And I'm going to use this Luxie um, Pro Precision Tapered to apply it. Because I feel like this powder gives a smooth appearance to the skin. I wouldn't say that it sets up anything. I would say that it just gives a very smooth and extra smooth layer is what I would say it does because when you put it on it like I don't know if you guys can see that. 
it just puts an extra airbrushed layer on. I'm gonna do my eyebrows because when you put on full coverage foundation, your eyebrows always just look crazy. Like I feel like my eyebrows just look a mess. I'm just gonna use the brow product I always use, which is the Cabral by Benefit. And I'm gonna attempt to use this NYX brush. I think I used to use it and I don't think I liked it that much, so let's hope that this time I have a different experience with that. I'm just gonna do that off camera then. Okay, now I look a little bit less harsh. I was looking pretty harsh, but I think I still look kind of harsh just because I feel like that's just the nature of this lighting, to be honest. You end up looking a little bit harsh. I'm drinking this sparkling lemonade. And it's kind of sour. This foundation isn't transfer proof, like I said. I don't want to show you guys, but... But I've been blowing my nose a lot, which I mean, I guess I don't really blame it. Because I feel like no foundation just lasts through blowing your nose, like, constantly. I feel like that doesn't happen. But I just zoomed in a little bit, and I'm going to get started on my eyes. I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes. I used this in a while, so I'm going to use this. The Juvia's Place, the Deuce palette, because I feel like it's a very spring palette. And I really like spring makeup a lot. And just spring looks. And I'm just going to put a cream shade on my brow bone. That didn't work. I tried to use translucent powder for that and that was just not the move. So I'm going to use... <laughs> I'm going to just use my O for a single shadow in this like light banana shade. And um... First, what I'm going to do is put down a transition color. I'm going to use the color, the color, the color Berry Moose, which this is not even Berry at all, so I don't know why that's the name, but that is the name. It's just going to provide like a slight transition. This is literally like close, very close to the color of my skin, so it's not going to do too much, but there we go. <laughs> and next, I'm going to use the color... The color Custard, which is that right there. And I'm just going to be putting that in the outer V in like a rounded shape. Not the outer V. I'm going to be putting it on like the outer lid and crease and everything and just building that up to an intensity that I like and I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit okay and this is gonna be a very simple look it's not gonna be like extreme or anything I mean, it is going to be colorful, so I guess whatever you define extreme as. I don't see colorful as extreme, but like using like a ton of shades. And I'm going to use chocolate. Chocolat. That's the way it's spelled. Chocolat. And I'm going to be taking... Here's the brush I'm looking for. This Urban Decay brush that you cannot buy. It came in the Naked 3 palette, and I'm allergic to the Naked 3 palette, so I do not recommend that. See, this is like a, a chocolate color, but also purple. 
and I'm doing that in like a V shape. The weird thing with these shadows, it look it seems like the more that you apply them, they like they get more pigmentation, which is weird. It's different from what I'm used to. It's like normally you blend them and they get less pigmented. That's if you with the same brush I'm talking about. Not if you take another brush and try to like fluff it out. Hopefully by the end of this, this look makes somewhat of sense. Okay. And now I'm going to take that shader brush and mix custard and cream, which is right here, this color. And I have used this palette in tutorials before, but not in this way. And I felt like nobody ever does tutorials on stuff that people already own like everybody is just like s trying to sell you a new thing which <clears throat> I can't say I hate I don't hate it I'm saying I buy into it a lot of the time so I'm saying I can't blame people but I'm having a little bit of fallout with this um I'm trying to grab that big fluffy brush with that And I just blend it a little bit and literally for the upper lid, that's it. And on the lower lid, I'm just going to make chocolate and custard together. And put that on the lower lash line. And for the inner corner, this is going to be really pretty. I'm going to take the color tart this pinky color these shadows almost feel like creams like the the shimmery shades and see this has like this is like a pink with a purple shift this palette just screams spring to me I don't know why it just does it screams spring and I love it I'm going to put this arrow enhance eyeliner in the color bright now and it's like a pink hopefully this is showing up it's showing up white on camera but this is literally pink I have sensitive eyes so they're watering a little bit because my eyes do not like liner being put in at all I haven't worn um waterline liner in a long time so my eyes aren't used to it i'm gonna put on some mascara yeah and i've been loving this uh, this mascara the l'oreal unlimited mascara i wish i hopefully i can show you guys i don't know if that's actually picking up And as you can see, my lashes have grown quite a bit. Like, my eyelashes were never this long. And I'll tell you guys what I've been using. I've been using this L'Oreal Lash Serum. As you can see, I have been using it because it's all messed up. I got it from Influencer. It was sent to me from Influencer for testing. But, like, honestly, I'm definitely going to keep buying this. Like, look. They almost touch my eyebrows. Like, I've been using this for about a month. And I saw results very quickly, so I'm not really... Honestly, it doesn't take that long to see the results. I kind of want to be monochromatic. I don't think that it'll look bad if I am. So I'm going to use this Jordana Sweet... 
cream matte liquid lipstick in the color Sugarberry Crumble, which kind of goes with all the kind of goes with the names of those. I feel like this is a little bit bright for this, so I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I could tone this down and make it a little bit... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to... Oh, here we go. That, what I just layered on it was ColourPop Beeper, but what I'm going to do is... I actually kind of like this to be honest. This lip. And it will be cute if. Honestly, if you didn't want to make this so bold, you could honestly not add this. And here is the finished look. I feel like this looks really pretty. And I really like it. So I hope you guys like it as well. I mixed like three lip colors. I put the Pretty Vulgar Lip Topper. And why does this not have a color? I don't know. But it's this like shimmery pink one. Beeper. And Anastasia buff with that lipstick so it was like a lot of lipsticks if you guys don't want to go through all this you could just honestly pick one of those lipsticks but i just felt like playing with makeup today so i did all three and i just used a lip brush to like soften the edges of all of them but yeah i really like this makeup i feel like it doesn't look too too extreme i feel like it actually like if you didn't wear like a lip this bright this doesn't look too like extreme it looks to me on the more wearable side of colorful and i really like it so i hope you guys like it if you do then definitely try this look out and you can tag me on instagram if you would like and um like this video if you did give it a thumbs up i mean if you like this video is what i mean <laughs> then give it a thumbs up subscribe to see videos for me and i will see you later bye